In this video, I'll explain what convenience sampling is. I'll show you some advantages and disadvantages and give you some tips on how to analyze a convenience sample. Convenience sampling, also called accidental sampling or grab sampling, is where you include people who are easy to reach. For example, you could survey people from your workplace, school, a club you belong to, or the local mall. Convenient sampling is a type of non-probability sampling. That means it doesn't include a random selection of participants. The opposite is probability sampling. That's where people are randomly selected and each person has an equal chance of being chosen. So why use convenient sampling? Although it is, like the name suggests, convenient, it runs a high risk your sample will not represent the population. However, sometimes a convenient sample is the only way you can drum up participants. It could be a matter of taking what you can get. Convenient sampling does have its uses, especially when you need to conduct a study quickly or you're on a shoestring budget. It's also one of the only methods you can use when you can't get a list of all the members of a population. For example, Let's say you were conducting a survey for a company who wanted to know what Walmart employees think of their wages. You probably won't be able to get a list of employees. You might have to resort to standing outside the store and grabbing whoever comes out. Advantages include it's pretty easy to get a sample. It's inexpensive compared to other methods. And participants are readily available. As the method cuts out a large part of the population, this leads to several issues. An inability to generalize results of the survey to the population as a whole, the possibility of under or over representation of the population, and biased results. That's due to reasons why some people choose to take part and some do not. Results from convenience samples are easy to analyze but hard to replicate. Perhaps the biggest problem with convenience sampling is dependence. Dependent means the sample items are all connected to each other in some way. This dependency interferes with statistical analysis. Most hypothesis tests, like the t-test or chi-square test, have an underlying assumption of random selection, which you do not have. But perhaps most problematic is the fact that p-values produced for convenience samples can be very misleading. The biggest recommendation is simple. If possible, use probability sampling instead. Other recommendations? Take multiple samples over the course of your study. If you do this, you may be able to model the selection process, producing more reliable results. Don't use post hoc tests as a tool to adjust your results in an attempt to deal with dependent data. You can repeat your study again to see if your results are truly replicable. For larger samples, use cross-validation to model one half of the data. You can then compare the results with the second half of the data to see if they match. Finally, don't meta-analyze convenient samples. Summarize the results instead. If you found the video helpful, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video.